Hello everyone, my name is Minakshi and I have completed LLM from National Law University and I am making a video series on the Constitution of India. If you haven't watched my previous videos, you can click on the link given in the description box below and watch all my other videos related to that. So today's topic is the preamble to the Constitution of India. In last class, we discussed about the Constitution of India, the drafting and when it was adopted, how it came into force and all of those like background details, history and the background to the Constitution of India. So today we will start with the actual Constitution, with the preamble to the Constitution of India. So these are the topics for uh, today's class. So I'll share a screen over here so that you can see the screen and then hear the conversation. So now the for Constitution of India, this is the second class, the preamble to the Constitution of India and these are the topics that we will be doing. What is the preamble to the Constitution of India? What is the object or the purpose or scope of the con preamble to the Constitution of India? Then whether preamble is a part of Constitution of India or not? Whether we can amend or make changes to the preamble or not and contents of the preamble. That means various words that are used under the preamble to the constitution of India. What are meanings, uh, what is the meaning of uh, each of those words. So that also we will discuss and then two or three questions are there that are like objective questions that we will do. So firstly, what is the preamble to the constitution of India? Now, preamble to the Constitution of India, it mainly gives us or it mainly tells us what, what, what were the wishes and aspirations of the drafters of the Constitution of India as to what all things they wanted to achieve by that preamble. So, preamble is basically like an introduction to the Constitution of India that gives us a fair idea as to what all principles, what all ideologies or what all things the drafters wanted to give to the people of India. So that means whatever provisions are there in the Constitution of India and other articles and everything, all of that is mentioned in the preamble like a summary. Summary of all those other principles are given in the preamble to us. The preamble to the Constitution of India is based on the objective resolutions. What is objective resolution? You can search it on the internet also. You would get the entire resolution, copy of the entire resolution and you can read it and see what is the difference between the preamble that we have today and the difference between the objective resolution? What all changes were made to the objective resolution? So it was based on the objective resolutions that was moved by Jawaharlal Nehru and it was introduced in December 13, 1947. So it is based on the objective resolution. Obviously many changes were made to the objective resolution and then the preamble was made. The preamble to the Constitution of India was adapted only when the draft to the Constitution of India was approved. Why it was like accepted at last is because they wanted to ensure that all the provisions mentioned, all the articles mentioned in the entire Constitution, the summary of it is covered in the preamble. So once everything was approved, then only we uh, like accepted the preamble to the Constitution of India, ensuring that the preamble contains the summary or the, you know, like introduction of the entire constitution that, that will be there. The preamble to the Indian constitution is a very elaborate preamble or a very elaborate uh, introduction that we have to the constitution of India. It clarifies who made the constitution of India, what is the source of the constitution of India, who, what is the ultimate sanction behind the constitution of India and what is the nature of the polity that we will be having or what are the like uh, principles or what are the aims and aspirations that we want to achieve by this constitution of India. So everything is mentioned in the preamble and every, we get a fair idea about everything by reading the preamble to the constitution of India itself. So it is a very elaborate preamble, very elaborate introductory part and also it is mentioning about every single detail that is there in the constitution of India in various provisions, various parts, various uh, other uh, articles that are mentioned in the constitution. Next topic is regarding object and purpose and scope of the preamble. So the preamble to the constitution of India, it basically is an introduction that we have to the constitution. The preamble is not any specific provision. It is not giving powers to any person. It is not talking about appointment of any officer, any minister or anything. It is not talking about any 
a particular committee, commission or anything. So the preamble to the Constitution of India is neither giving any powers to anyone nor is it talking about any specific provisions regarding anything. So the preamble to the Constitution of India is basically giving us an idea as to the purpose behind having this Constitution of India. So from the preamble, we are not getting any powers. We do not have any specific provision or any other thing. It is only mentioned in the remaining articles of the preamble to the Constitution of India. Now, one major thing that is asked is, so say preamble is not a part to the Constitution of India. We can see, right? Preamble is only an introduction that is given to the Constitution. The main provision starts from the articles, from Article 1 to all the articles that we have. That means what? Whether preamble is a part of the Constitution or not, it is a much debated topic. Under Article 368, we can make changes, we can make amendments to the Constitution of India. Fair enough. But whether we can make amendments to the preamble or not. Because preamble is not like giving us any powers or anything. It is just an introduction. So there are two cases that you need to remember. First one is the Berubali case of 1960. In this particular case, it was said that under Article 368 of the Constitution of India, we can make changes only to the different provisions that are mentioned in the Constitution of India. Preamble is not a part of that, so we cannot make changes to the preamble. So it was a case of 1960 where it was said that preamble is not a preamble is uh, like we cannot make changes, we cannot make amendments to the preamble under Article 368 of the Constitution of India. So you should remember this particular case. It is Verubari case where it was said that we cannot make changes to the preamble under Article 368 of the Constitution. Then another case came that is the famous case of Ananda Bharti versus State of Kerala case. So it is of the year 1973. So you should remember this case of the year 1973. What happened in this case is that it overruled the decision of Berubari case. It said that preamble is a part of Constitution of India and we can make changes to the preamble as well. Why? Because if anything is mentioned in any parts of the Constitution, any provisions of the Constitution of India or anything is um, like included by making some amendments or anything, obviously we need to change the preamble as well because it is an introductory part. So it was said that preamble also is a part of the Constitution of India even though it is not giving any specific powers to anyone. It is a part of Constitution and we can make changes to the preamble under Article 368. So you try to remember these two cases. These are very important cases. Now amendment to the preamble. So we know that we can make changes to the preamble to the Constitution of India. But we should also know whether there are any amendments that was made to the preamble to Indian Constitution. So it was only one amendment that was made to the preamble to Indian Constitution. It is the 42nd Amendment Act of 1976. One of the most important amendments made to the Indian Constitution. So you remember uh, it is 42nd Amendment Act of 42nd Constitutional Amendment Act of 1976. That is the only amendment made to the preamble to the Constitution of India. What all changes were made by this amendment? It included the term socialist, secular and integrity. So these terms were inserted in the preamble by the 42nd Amendment Act. Now why these terms are inserted? Because various provisions under the PSP and all other things, we know that India tries to be a socialist state. And also we have under fundamental rights, we have the freedom of religion, articles 25 to 28 we have. Already we are having those provisions, but these terms are not mentioned in the preamble to the Constitution of India. So it was felt that it is necessary to insert those terms in the preamble as well. And the next term is integrity. So integrity was also inserted in the preamble to the Constitution of India. Why? Because it was felt that all these three terms, even though they are not mentioned in the preamble, like India tries to be a socialist country, India tries to uh, achieve secularism amongst people and integrity amongst the people of India. So these three terms were inserted in the preamble. Remember, it is only one amendment, one change that is made, three terms inserted by the 42nd Amendment Act of 1976. 
So this is all about the preamble to the Constitution of India. We should also know the wordings, meaning of different words or terms that are inserted to the preamble of the Indian Constitution. So we will continue with that in the next uh, class. So this was all for the preamble, introductory part of the preamble. What is preamble? What is the object of it? Whether we can make amendments to the preamble or not? What all changes we can make? whether there is any amendment to the preamble or not. So in the next class, we will continue with different meanings of different words or terms used after the preamble to the Indian constitution. Bye-bye.